Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Fix You by Boyce Avenue. And we're going to start out with kind of a chord version and then talk about uh, the, the licks that kind of happen later on. And, and we'll talk about where we're going to move it for key two, but we're going to start on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. When we play E minor, actually, second finger can stay on the D on the second fret. First finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. So, so we got one on the A on the second, two on the D on the second. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to an A minor chord. When we play A minor, first finger is going to go back to the B on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret. Third finger is going to go to the G on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to go to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, and third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strummed all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And actually, our, our intro and our verse is actually going to kind of revolve around those four chords. So we're going to go, kind of be going from the C, E minor. Sometimes with a song like this to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you just took the C and tried that, you'd have down, down, up. strum pattern later on but if we tried that through our verse progression the weird thing is we'd be halving on each of the chords so one way to do that would be doing just the down down up on each one you'd have C down up E minor down up A minor down down G down F C down down E minor down down up E minor down down G down down up but another way to do it would be kind of halving that strum pattern between the chords so you can take the C and do the down down up minor for up, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, G, up, down, C, down, down, up, E minor, up, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, G, up, down, up. Now what it sounds like in the recording though is that they're actually doing some, some arpeggio licks and what an arpeggio is is where you're breaking up that chord. So for instance while you're holding down the C chord if you play the A string and then the G string and then the B string and go back to the G string that's what it sounds like they're kind of doing in the recording. And you may want to try that with just the pick or with, with, with the pick with the fingers. That's called hybrid picking if you did like pick and then fingers for that leg. Which actually sometimes that can feel a little bit better. Or if you wanted to do it just finger style, you could do it that way too. And then on the E minor, we're going to be doing the low E bass and then the G string and the B string and the G string for our arpeggio. So we got low E, G, B, G. And then when we go to the A minor chord, we're actually just going to hold down just the first finger on, on the B string, and then do the A and the open G, and then the first fret on the B string, and then back to the G. So we got A, G, B, G, A, G, B, G. And then when we go to the G chord, then we're going to be doing low E string on the third fret, and then doing the G, B, G. So it's all about the G, B, G lick. Um, so we're going C chord, E minor, A minor, G. And then there are a couple places actually where we just stop on the G chord. And at that point you're playing low E on the third with the open B at the same time. So, so then you'd have C, E minor, A minor, G. <laughs> so from there we're going to be going into the chorus. And on our chorus we go to an F major chord. And we play F major. And we'll talk about an easy way in a moment because we're kind of going easy to play with this video. But if you put your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord. But, but if you want to kind of avoid the bar chord, or if, if, if you're just kind of starting out and that's kind of difficult, you could go do a good substitute for that called F major seven. And the way you play F major seven, first finger is going to go on the B on the first fret, second finger on the G on the second fret, and third finger on the D on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds an F major seven. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the F major, we're going to be going 
to the G major. And then we kind of go back to F major, G major. So we're kind of revolving between those chords for our chorus. And on this part, actually, you could do that whole strum pattern where you go F, down, up. Though it almost sounds like on a couple of those, like on the middle T, you just do the kind of long down on the F and then do the G twice. G, F with a down, G with a down, G with a down. So there's a couple ways you could actually kind of do that part. And there's actually a really cool lead part that comes in on that where you go second fret on the G string, first fret on the B string, and then third fret on the high E string. It's kind of a ringing thing. So you're going A, C, G. <laughs> or kind of holding down that shape well, and going uh, second fret on the G, first fret on the B, third fret on the high E. Our bridge part, we, we start out doing just some down chords where we have C, F, C, G, A minor, F, C, G. But then later on it kind of picks it up and if we, we were going to do our strum pattern with it, we could try that whole strum pattern on each of those. So we have C, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that starts out, and there's a really cool solo part on that part too where you would start at first fret on the B string, and we do a whole bunch of those. And then we kind of slide all the way to eighth fret on the B string for three of those. So we got one, 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 one,
major, A minor, F major, C major, and then on that last G is almost like a big build up. G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we kind of add in our scrum pattern. So we got our C down. First fret is really fourth fret, and your eighth fret is really eleven. <laughs> so you're going from one, 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 eight is what you're thinking, but you're really playing four. Slide to eleven. bridge we kind of have a kind of a big F and then kind of a big G kind of applying our chorus at the very very end of the bridge and then big G and then we go into that kind of our outro part where we got the F down up down E minor down down G down down F or you could try those arpeggio licks where you could kind of do the F chord E minor G major F major E minor kind of your outro. So that would be one way that you could kind of play through the song. Something else I would think about adding to it actually is working off of something called a 16th note strum pattern. So one other option is if you're tapping your foot, where right now we're kind of dividing that into two parts. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. Well, if you divided that into four parts, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's called a 16th note. And, and the strum pattern that I really kind of like working through the tune is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is like we took the C chord and did it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. On the second beat, you're going to down, down, up on one, or down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four. last beat you're going down up down up, right along with the 16th so down up down up down up down up down up down up so all together you got long down 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 up up down down up down up long down 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 up up down down up down up long down 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 up up down down up down up now the weird thing on our verse is we'd end up halving that strum pattern for, for our chords. So one way to do that would be doing the long down, down, down up on each one. So you'd have C long down, 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 E minor, long down, 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 E minor, down, 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 G down, 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 C down, 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 E minor, down, 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 E minor, down, 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 G down, 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 up, which I think kind of matches the tune. But if you wanted to, you could even split that strum pattern to C down, 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 E minor, up. Pattern, so we'd have the down, down, up, down, down, up, down, G, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, G, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. So we tried that through our bridge, and then or for our outro, we'd have C, down. sound more like they're just doing downs on each one but if we tried that through our outro we'd have the F down down up up down down up down long down E minor down down G down 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 if you wanted to try and split the strum pattern you'd have F down down up of how you can play Fix You by Boyce Avenue. So good luck!